Hi everybody, it's John Aravosis, the editor of America Blog, here today to talk about Donald Trump's surprising decision to ban transgender people in the military. A year ago, President Obama decided, with the agreement of American military leaders, to permit transgender people to serve openly in the military. They were supposed to begin serving openly July 1st of this year, but a month ago, the military asked for another six months to study the issue a little more closely so they could do it right. Well, only one month has passed, and Donald Trump decided unilaterally this morning in a series of tweets to ban transgender people in the military, even taking the military by surprise. A military source told the Wall Street Journal they didn't even know about this, they learned about it from Trump's tweets. Trump, who never served a day in the military in his life, he had bone spurs during Vietnam, is contradicting the advice of military leaders, key Republicans in Congress, and even top military think tanks such as the RAND Corporation that said there would be no impact on military cohesion if we let transgender people serve. What surprised me the most, however, was the number of Republican congressmen speaking out against Trump's decision. We had people like Dick Shelby, a crazy conservative Republican senator from the South, questioning Trump's decision. Are you, con are you concerned about the 4,000 transgender people currently serving, or up to 6,000 based yeah. on what RAND says? serving in the military right now, what happens to them? Well, I think you ought to treat everybody fairly and you ought to give everybody a chance to serve. We had Joni Ernst, we had John McCain, we even had Orrin Hatch, a conservative Mormon senator from Utah, saying that discrimination is wrong. Now last year, during the presidential campaign, Donald Trump repeatedly claimed that he would be better for LGBT Americans than Hillary Clinton. Trump even waved a rainbow LGBT flag last year during one of his campaign events with the words lesbians, gay, bisexual, and transgender for Trump written across the flag. Well, today it seems LGBT in Trump land stands more for lies, greed, bigotry, and treason. Now the question arises, why would Trump do this on a whim? on a Wednesday morning, without consulting the military, without consulting the leaders in Congress, going against even our own august military think tanks like RAND. Trump is claiming that he's doing this for cost savings because transgender reassignment surgery could cost the military two to three million dollars a year. Of course, that's how much it costs us every weekend Trump goes to play golf at Mar-a-Lago. And in fact, the impact wouldn't be that great at all monetarily because such a small number of transgender troops would want to go through the surgery according to the RAND study. Now, the stronger argument, potentially, that Trump could use against the LGBT community is the one that was used against gays when we tried to serve openly in the military back in 1993. We were told at the time that unit cohesion of the military would be harmed if we let gay people in. In other words, that integral unit of military men working together in the battlefield, the cohesion they feel, would be called into question if they knew a gay person was there, or today if they knew a transgender person was there. But in fact, not just studies, but the research done in countries that permit gay and trans people to serve have shown that the unit cohesion is not a problem. We've certainly seen it on the gay side in the United States. We've had gays in the military now openly for a number of years. There's been no problems to unit cohesion. But what about transgender? If you look at Rand's list of in which countries transgender members are serving, it's really kind of striking. A lot of NATO countries, including a country as important as Israel. And let's face it, folks, Israel doesn't play games with its national security. If Israel thinks transgender people can serve openly and it will help the Israeli military, then clearly it can happen in America too. And Rand specifically looked at the issue of unit cohesion and concluded evidence from foreign militaries and the U.S. military has indicated no significant impact on unit cohesion or operational readiness as a result of allowing transgender people to serve in combat positions. Of course, this isn't a military issue at all. Trump is doing this to score political points. As you know, Donald Trump has been trying for a while now to get his Attorney General Jeff Sessions to resign. For whatever reason, Trump is afraid to fire Sessions, so he's been attacking him on Twitter and attacking him in interviews, calling him weak, calling him beleaguered, saying how disappointed he is in Sessions to try to force Sessions to leave office. Well, this has caused somewhat a revolt amongst the far right. You've got Breitbart, the crazy far right website tied to the White House. You've got a number of conservative commentators and top conservatives in Congress speaking out and saying, Donald Trump, leave Jeff Sessions alone. So Trump needed to do something to divert attention from the political chaos he's causing on the right. What did he do? He went for the old gay bashing pinata, give it a whap and hope it diverts attention and helps rally the base. According to Axios, that's exactly what happened. This decision was made by Trump at the last minute to divert attention from the political scandals he's facing right now. 
And that's one thing I find particularly upsetting with this entire issue. We had a period of time where legislative gay bashing was starting to sort of fade away. Republicans were realizing it didn't really get them any points at the ballot box, or at least not enough points, to beat up gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people. Well, now Donald Trump is saying, hey, maybe it could score me points. The Axios story today even went so far as to say that Trump is hoping this will help Republicans at the ballot box in 2018. In other words, Trump didn't do this for military reasons. Trump made a key military decision overruling his own brass for elections. That's why he did this. And Trump is bringing back gay bashing. He's bringing back LGBT bashing. He's bringing back trans bashing. Something that started to finally go away in US politics. And Donald Trump is bringing it back. Donald Trump who promised he would be the LGBT savior this year. And he's been anything but. This is American Heroes Week. A week we devote to honoring our service members and those who were willing to risk their lives to serve our country and defend our country. We should be honoring the members of the military, not bashing them, not using them for political gain, not using them to win elections. Donald Trump made a crass political decision based on politics, based on elections, and not based on the military readiness of the United States. No commander in chief should ever make that decision. No commander in chief should ever serve after having made such a crass political decision and using our troops as political props. I'm John Aravosis, the editor of America Blog. Please like this video, share it, get it out there on social media, and go to my YouTube page and subscribe there as well. And if you can, make a donation to help support my work. Thanks so much. Have a good day.